music explorers discover the orchestra. Hello, music explorers. Welcome to Severance Hall, home of the world famous Cleveland Orchestra. I'm Major Scale. And I'm Ranger Rhythm, your musical guides reporting for duty. Are you ready to explore with us? Today, we're going to meet a very special instrument in the orchestra, the harp. Say it with me. Harp. Let's discover the right tool to help us learn more about the harp. I know I have it in here somewhere. Today, we're going to use this tool called a gizmo doodle to help us measure different parts of the harp. That looks like a pencil. Exactly. A gizmo doodle. Before we meet the harp, can you tell me what letter harp starts with? That's right! H. Harp starts with the letter H. The letter H, H, H says ha, ha, ha. The letter H, H, H says ha, ha, ha. In words like harp, hero, hula hoop, and honk. The letter H, H, H says ha, ha, ha. Now let's listen closely to what the harp sounds like. Wow, that was beautiful. I wonder how the harp makes sound. Music explorers, let's investigate. What do you notice about the harp? It has lots of strings. This harp has 47 strings. The strings go from really long to really short. The longer or larger a string is, the lower the sound. The shorter or smaller a string is, the higher the sound. Did you know that the harp is one of the oldest instruments in the world? The harp is over 5,000 years old. Wow, that's really old. Harps are even older than the gizmo doodle. Speaking of the gizmo doodle, let's use it to help us measure the harp. Which string is the same length as the gizmo doodle? Well, let's see. You're right. This red string is the same length as the gizmo doodle. Now let's measure the longest string on the harp. Can you predict how many gizmo doodles long is the longest string? Hmm. I predict 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. Wow, the longest string is nine gizmo doodles long. Were you right? Great measuring skills, explorers. Keep an eye out for things you can measure with a gizmo doodle in your classroom or at home. And now, the greatest detectives in orchestra history. The people you call when cellos, mouthpieces, or the conductor go missing Sherlock Holnotes and Inspector Sharp. I spy with my little eyes something that starts with the letter H. The harp! That's right. Let's search for the harps in the orchestra. You found it. How many harps do you see in this orchestra? Just one. Most orchestras have only one or two harps in the orchestra. Did you know instruments have families just like we do? Instrument families sit near each other in the orchestra and they all share some things that are the same. The harp has strings just like the members of the string family, but it has some things that are different. First, let's look for the string family in the orchestra. 
Here are the violins, violas, cellos, and basses. The string family is the biggest family in the orchestra. What is the same about the harp and instruments of the string family? You're right. They all have strings. What is different? Do they have the same number of strings? Right again. Instruments in the string family have four strings, while the harp has lots and lots more. One more thing. All the instruments in the string family have a bow to use, too. But the harp does not. They only use their fingers to make sound. Well observed, explorers. Back to you, Ranger Rhythm. Music explorers, you've just unlocked another key to music exploration. Till next time, this is Ranger Rhythm, signing off. <laughs>